How should we talk about aging in dogs? No one wants to think about losing their pup, but we also want to know how to give them their happiest, healthiest, longest life possible. Science has provided us some surprising answers to common questions, like how old is your dog in human years, and how long can you expect your dog to live? We've also learned a lot about how to identify signs of decline like dementia. We'll cover these things and more here on Pet Spotlight. First, how old is your tail wagging bundle of joy in human years? The well-known rule of thumb says one dog year equals seven human years. But new research shows that dogs might be much older than we think. Scientists at UCSD studied over 100 Labrador retrievers to analyze chemical changes in doggy DNA as they age. This let them come up with a more accurate formula to calculate a dog's true age. It turns out dogs age rapidly at first and then slow down, kind of like humans, but the old 1 to 7 year ratio is really oversimplified. This kind of makes sense, 1 year old dogs are mature enough to have puppies, but 7 year old humans are still kids. The researchers focused on changes that accumulate on DNA as cells age, and comparing these patterns between dogs and humans revealed a new formula. Based on this molecular data, that one-year-old dog is actually more like 30 in human years. And while an eight-week-old puppy might equate to a nine-month-old human baby developmentally, a six-year-old dog is more like 60 in human years. Understanding how dogs truly age based on molecular clues helps veterinarians provide better care. So just how long can you expect your furry friend to stick around? The truth is, dog lifespan varies dramatically by breed and size. Big dogs often age faster, potentially as much as 10 times faster than humans. But tiny toy breeds like chihuahuas might live to be 15 or 20 years old, and they only age around 5 times as fast as people. There's really no one size fits all here. Have you ever heard of the Dog Aging Project? It's a huge study that's tackling this puzzle on an enormous scale. Their goal is to study tens of thousands of dogs to help figure out the keys to a long, healthy life. The project will also analyze how genetics, environment, and lifestyle influence lifespan. Since dogs share our world but live much shorter lives, the hope is that discoveries will ultimately benefit human health, too. One of the findings so far from the Dog Aging Project has to do with how your dog's social life impacts their health. It turns out running with the pack, as they call it, may lead to more years of happy dog life. Here's the scoop. Researchers surveyed over 21,000 dogs for the project to uncover links between environment and lifestyle and canine health. Dogs with more social support and companionship, like living with other pets, had better reported health. The social factor was five times more influential than an owner's financial status or demographics. These results weren't too different from human studies that have shown our social connections strongly affect our well-being. For our social animal companions, quality time with their loved ones, both human and furry, seems to be a good recipe for healthy aging. There's some other interesting signs coming out of modern veterinary medicine, and not all good news. First, a quick pause to say, if you love your dog, subscribe to Pet Spotlight so you never miss an important video. So here's some of that not-so-great news. Are our dogs dying earlier than they did in the previous decades? For golden retrievers, the answer seems to be yes, according to one veterinarian who's been tracking the breed for over 40 years. In the 1970s and 80s, goldens reportedly lived at least 15 or 17 years, but today many die before the age of 13. This decline coincides with the breed's explosion in popularity. Why might this be? Excessive inbreeding to exaggerate breed features might contribute to shorter lifespans. Mating closely related dogs passes on harmful genetic mutations, including those that cause diseases. This news isn't without controversy though, there are other researchers who say there's no serious evidence that dogs are dying earlier. What's less controversial though is this next fact. Vets agree there has been a troubling rise in golden retrievers diagnosed with cancer. This truth really hits home for me. I lost a golden retriever to cancer a few years ago. He went from seeming fine to gone in the space of less than a week. And that was after he had already survived skin cancer earlier in his life. In fact, in 2012, the Golden Retriever Lifetime Study looked at 3,000 dogs, and they found the most common cause of death was cancer. 
On the bright side, fortunately scientists are working hard to try to figure out which genes in Goldens are to blame and how introducing new genes into the pool for the breed could help water down some of the cancer-causing ones. Here's another encouraging fact coming out of dog genetics work. While the odds may seem grim, there may be hope yet for extending golden retrievers' lives. Researchers at UC Davis examined DNA from 300 long-living goldens and compared it to those who died younger. They found one gene in particular called HER4 or HER4. It emerged as being associated with longer life on average, and it's part of a gene family that helps regulate cell growth and in humans can be involved in some cancers. This discovery shows that certain genes might help counteract harmful mutations driving cancer in golden retrievers and other dogs too. Although complex, unraveling some of these canine genetics offers paths to mitigate disease. More time with our golden-hearted companions might be on the horizon in the near future. No matter how long their dog's life is, owners always struggle with this next fact. Dogs are so good at hiding their pain and discomfort, how can you tell if they're starting to experience decline? In people, slower walking can be one sign of cognitive decline, like dementia or memory problems. This is because mobility and cognition are very tightly wound together. But what about dogs? In a recent study, senior dogs who walked more slowly off-leash showed worse performance on cognitive tests. So, it seems like measuring walking speed is one way vets can monitor brain health in aging pets. Understanding these similarities between canine and human cognitive decline will aid research into diseases like Alzheimer's. Did you know dogs can actually exhibit similar symptoms to Alzheimer's disease with something called canine cognitive dysfunction syndrome? CCDS is similar to Alzheimer's in humans in that cognitive decline is associated with the development of plaques in the brain and progressive degeneration of brain tissue. CCDS is also challenging to diagnose, just like Alzheimer's in humans. Every step we take forward in understanding CCDS in dogs will help humans in our understanding of Alzheimer's and vice versa. The good news is that veterinary medicine has seen remarkable advances benefiting our aging furry companions. Where once owners felt that there was little that could be done for senior pet health issues, today's vets have far more tools. In just the last 10 to 20 years, veterinary science has made huge strides. There are medications now to help dementia, urinary incontinence, arthritis, cancer, heart disease, and more. Novel treatments like acupuncture or massage therapy also help with joint pain. Plus, improved diagnostics catch problems earlier when they're most treatable. While these aren't always cures, these interventions crucially improve sick pets' quality of life. Collaborating closely with your vet helps customize care for your elderly dog or cat. And although aging brings inevitable challenges, today's pet medicine ensures that our best friend's golden years are the best that they can be. You should watch this video next on the things you need to understand about your dog to be the best human partner you can be. Thanks for joining us on Pet Spotlight, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed. Until next time.